Edgehill drama student Nick Ramwell has recently told he's been given a part in the national television programme Hollyoaks. As Hollyoaks is best around university life, I thought catching up in the SU was the best way to talk. So I hear you've got a part in Hollyoaks, Nick. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, I was in it about a year and a half ago. Um, and what they're doing, they're just bringing the character back in a new storyline. Um, it was, I, was, I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. So how does it feel to be in such a recognisable programme? It's, it's a big thing, isn't it? Um, especially for, like, on my CV as well, like, named parts are, are what you need. So has the performing arts at the university helped you along the way? Yeah, but it's really different, like, cause it's, it's a lot more academic than, than practical. After being taught a lesson in pool, I only had one more question to ask him. So Nick Colliox is based around an SU community, so surely you'll feel right at home. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I mean, not just the SU, but the whole set at Hollyoaks is it's just like, um, I mean, when you're on it, it's like a, a different like a little world. Look out for Nick as he'll be hitting the screens in the summertime. But do you really need a drama degree to get into acting? I talked to a journalism student who has also been offered a part in Hollyoaks. Salma, tell us a bit about your part in Hollyoaks. Okay, my part on Hollyoaks is a Latin American anorexic girl. Do you know when you're going to be on the program? Well, basically, the condition is I should lose 10 pounds. So, um, hopefully, if I lose the 10 pounds by May, then I will definitely, definitely get the part and start shooting in May. So, do you feel the need for a drama educational background to get into the television industry? Well, I've been acting since I was six, so um, it's not about um, necessity of getting into the industry. It's just something that I like to do, that's mm. all. Just a hobby. This was James Gorman for Edge Hill News.